In Revelation 17, verse 3, we read, So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. In prophecy, a woman is defined as a church. Jeremiah 6, 2 says, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. And we also understand that the church of Jesus Christ is considered to be the bride of Christ because of many areas in scriptures that describe her as such. It is also commonly understood that prophecy defines a beast to be a nation. Daniel 7.17, for example, says, These great beasts which are four are four kings, which shall arise out of the earth. And Daniel again says in Daniel 7.23, Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, and shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And even in today's world, nations are described as beasts. For example, the USA is seen as an eagle. Russia is likened onto a bear, and China even carries the image of a dragon. Many years ago, Daniel the prophet was given a great vision about all the nations of the earth till the end of time. In this vision, he saw the last beast to be diverse from all others. But how diverse would it be? Well, according to Revelation 17.3, as we have already seen, this beast will have a woman writing it. Well, since prophecy defines a woman as a church and a beast as a nation, is there such an entity described in history? Is there a church and a nation mixed together as one someplace today? Yes, there is. There is only one place on earth that fulfills this prophecy and has done so for over a thousand years. The Vatican of the Roman Catholic Church is also the sovereign nation of Vatican City. Thank you for watching. God bless.